You know what I mean? Gabe's sister seemed like if she couldn't control the situation, she was out. And it's like, well, why do you feel that way? What's going on in your own relationship? What about the dynamic? Did the mom kind of pit those two against each other as kids? It just seemed odd to me. You know, again, Debbie and Osama are off. Uh, poor Osama had to sit through that like 18 hour festival. He couldn't have given one fuck. But my favorite part was basically last night when they turned to Osama and they were like, Osama, what do you think? And he's like, I didn't understand a word. And I thought, you know what? That sums up the entire part of this. <laughs> um, so people are saying, so on my TikTok, Catherine's saying, you know, on your show, because I had Gabe on recently, his sister applied for him. I think that's weird. Catherine, I do too now. There is a bizarre dynamic there. Uh, Casey says, I think both Gabe and his sister are very dramatic. She seems very selfish. I kind of agree with all, I agree with all these comments. Danielle wants to escape God knows what and live in the islands with Johan. Uh, and Johan wants to live in America, so it's never going to work. Seems to, I agree. They just didn't seem on the same page really at the tell-all. Um, I was sad about the, all the couples, but yes, from a former addict, she is on drugs. This is Michelle's opinion on Chris. Oh, Aries is team Johan. Uh, me too, zero chemistry. Okay. I don't mind on pillow talk, but not the reunion as far as that's in reference to Tim and Veronica, Armando and Kenny. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Kenny's the one I think that they use with Tim and that that's like a good pairing. Um, all right, let's move on to sister wives. Cause there's a lot, a lot happening in the sister wives world. First, I got to thank a sponsor. You guys, ugh. I'm obsessed with you all. Thanks to you all frequenting the sponsors here on the Sarah Fraser show. This is my full-time gig. You know, I put out seven new podcast episodes for you a week. And PS, I don't want another subscription in my life. I'm actually at the point, I don't even want to download one more goddamn app to be quite honest with you. So I try to give you free content. By you frequenting my sponsors, I keep this show always free and accessible to you anytime you need to be entertained or inspired. That's why we got to thank our sponsor today, Boston Hernia. Go to bostonhernia.com slash TSFS. They see clients and patients all across the country. People come to them from Washington, D.C., from South Carolina, or if you're in the Boston area, they are the top two hernia doctors in the country. You should never get hernia surgery without speaking to them because they do virtual consultations as well. Dr. Fullington and Dr. Reinhorn are board certified. They're the best of the best. Go to bostonhernia.com slash TSFS for more information. They accept insurance. 25% of all men will have a hernia. So ladies, I know many of you are with guys. They are going to have a hernia. Do not let them go to just a general surgeon. Most of the time when you your man finds out he's got a hernia, they recommend him to a general surgeon. He just has surgery in an ER by someone who is not a specialized hernia doctor. Don't do it without talking to Boston Hernia. They are the best in the country. They wanted to work with the Sarah Fraser Show because they know I have so many women that listen. And women get hernias too. 10% of women will get hernias. A lot of us get them from being pregnant. Again, you want them to recommend the best hernia surgeon for you in the country if you cannot go to Boston. Find out more at bostonhernia.com slash TSFS. Also, all of you work for banks. You work for beauty companies. You have your own companies because y'all are bosses. If you would like to advertise to thousands of women every single month, join the Sarah Fraser Show. Uh, I'll send you my rates. You can email me at thesarahfrasershow at gmail.com. I am taking on new clients. All right, sister wives. Oh, first of all, first of all, y'all can come for me. I don't care. Cody Brown was recently photographed at his daughter, Savannah. That's his daughter he had with Janelle at her high school graduation. And I'm going to be honest with you. He's had some work done or something. He looked hot. I know. I know what you're going. People were like, I know you're not saying that about Grody. I'm saying it about Grody. I am saying it about Grody. Grody looked, Grody looked to me like what happens when people come to Hollywood and then they make it in Hollywood and suddenly they glow up. They go from not to hot. You know what I mean? You know exactly. Dave Portnoy is like the best example from Barstool Sports, the CEO. Have you looked, Google him from 10 years ago. No offense. I adore Dave, but he was not hot. Now he's like, not a bad looking guy. You're like, all right, I'd smash that. You know what I'm saying? He's just one of them. Um, Migos, the band, you know, the the band, the group, you know, and and 
But Migos, Google them. Even Cardi B. Cardi B got so much hotter when she got richer. Cody looks fucking hot. I don't know if he's had hair transplants. I don't know if he went to Turkey and had some work done. You know, because that's what Darcy and Stacey famously do. They go to Turkey. They get their teeth done. Everything is cheaper there. Cody looked good. That hairline, but the hairline looked improved. Improved. I'm going to be honest. You look good. Do yourself a favor and Google Cody, a.k.a. our friend Grody, at Savannah's graduation. Now, it looked like everything was good. Here's where the tea comes from Sister Wives this week. According to sources... Things are really heating up as far as a custody battle between Christine and Cody. And David Woolley, Christine Brown's fiance, does not like Cody, which I guess we saw this coming, but I'm I'm very curious that this is like leaking now, okay, to the press. So David is really angry, apparently, about the way that Cody has treated, that treated Christine for years. And now is angry with the custody battle because guess why Cody is throwing a fit about truly living with Christine? Because she is truly is living in a household where they are not yet married. And a Cody, his rules or whatever, he is not okay with them being unmarried and truly being there. Oh my God. I mean, is this 1880 fucking two? I mean- are you kidding? Like, what next? We're going to have to heat our house by lighting a fire and all standing next to it? I mean, give me a break. People, Kids are raised all the time in households with people that are married and unmarried. And P.S., you have like four wives at one point, okay? Like, you think truly is really like in harm for that? So, you know, and now we're hearing their custody battle is going to play out in season 18. So we're going to have, you know, Christine's engagement, her wedding planning and the battle over truly that is going down between Cody and Christine and David doesn't like him. And supposedly, I mean, I'd be curious to see because David Woolley's daughter is very active on TikTok. TikTok. Now, a lot of people are saying like there have been these innuendos in Christine's video or uh, Instagram pictures where she's like giving the finger to, to like, it looks like she's giving Cody the finger um, where they're eating nachos because, uh, you know, Cody famously had the line where he was grossed out by um, Christine, like eating nachos and he was unattracted to her. So they seem to be trolling him. And, you know, what the, what a lot of outlets are saying is like, that's kind of led by David Woolley, that David is fine in basically being like giving Cody a hard time and being like, fuck you. I think Cody's like a, a bad person. So, I mean, that could be intense. That could be, that could be like good. That I, you know, what an interesting storyline. Like David Woolley seems to be like jumping in. People are asking if Janelle has a new man yet. As far as I know, no. Also, there's a whole rumor going around that Janelle is not supportive of David and Christine. I find that to be bullshit. Janelle and Christine are very good friends. They hung out a couple weeks ago. They sell their diet teas together. By the way, don't we think they're going to be out of business now with Ozempic? Is any is anyone going to be drinking Plexius tea when you could just like get a shot? I mean, and I'm not getting it. You all know I, I'm. I think Ozempic is never going to work long term for people. But anyhow, I'm just like, how are these MLMs with Plexius going to work? There's no way people are going to get Manjaro. But Janelle does not have a new man. I also think Janelle is fine with David Woolley. Everybody seems to be a fan of David Woolley's. Now. If Cody wanted to see truly, he had plenty of chances to do it during COVID. Exactly. That was a big thing with custody. Well, you know, Cody is apparently, again, these are all alleged, um, you know, rumors, but Cody apparently is using COVID and saying, look, I wasn't going to see anybody during COVID. I didn't see a lot of my children. Um, and now I'm ready to see truly. I want to be a part of her life. And you guys have moved another state away. And you know, I mean, wouldn't it be interesting if Cody and David Woolley got into it? That'd be something. That would be something. Um, now, the other thing that's very interesting that's happening is apparently Cody is very upset 
I, I mean, I don't know. I think this is a lot of speculation, but the rumor is that Cody is very upset because now when you Google, and I'd be curious if you guys Google sister wives, that when you Google sister wives, the first thing that comes up is Cody Brown, Christine's ex-husband. So the top billing now on when you Google sister wives, first of all, Christine comes up first. And then second, Cody, you know how like it gives suggested searches? The first suggested search is Cody Brown, ex-wife of Christine or Christine Brown, ex of Cody. And a lot of people are saying, you know, Cody wants top billing code. And I do agree with that. There is, I think clearly Cody's a narcissist for sure. Uh, any man I think that wants four wives is obviously a narcissist. Like they love to be surrounded by people that are obsessed with them. They like to be the center of attention. Um, but according to one story, uh, Cody is not happy that he is not getting top billing anymore when you Google his name, that Christine is associated. And, um, you know, the more people that search Christine Brown, the higher it makes her on the list and everybody else goes down. Was Mary shading Janelle and Christine this week with a picture of a friend of hers when she wished her happy birthday and said, happy birthday, sister, I love you. A lot of people think that she was doing innuendos. I don't, y'all have time. Y'all have too much time on your hands. I I think she was just saying like, I love you, sister. Like you are like a sister. I don't think she was shading the other women. You know, Mary's on this spiritual kick. She listens to Mel Robbins every day. How do I know this? Because she goes on and she quotes Mel Robbins on her TikTok. She does like various Mel Robbins quote. Mel Robbins, you know, famous quote, nobody is coming to save you, you know? And, you know, there's Mary and Mary's like, yes, you know, I'm on my own. All right. Well, good for, I, I love it. I hope Mary stays on her own. Don't go back to Cody because the other story a couple of weeks ago was that Mary was like talking to Cody and Robin and considering going back. Oh, please don't. Please. People are saying that Mary wants to be relevant. I mean, I gotta say, I... I went, I've gone back and I've started watching from season one, Sister Wives, because y'all know I'm a new fan. I feel for Mary. Like the, the Mary's baby journey of not being able to have another child is so hard when she watched these other women live in her house and have like nine children each. Like that had to be so hard. I have more empathy for Mary, I guess. And I think it's great to see her on this spiritual journey. I, I don't mind Mary as much. Now, you know, the other thing that came out and I'm sure will be addressed in season 18 is that Mary was very abusive to the kids. You know, that's horrible. And I wonder if the kids will address her personally in season 18. You know, so supposedly she was very, very abusive to a couple of the girls. Um, so, but I, I guess, I, I guess, I don't have empathy for the abuse, the child abuse. I mean, I'm wondering if part of the child abuse that that Mary took out on the kids had to do with her frustrations of not being able to have another baby. I'm just, you know, I'm speculating. I don't have anything to back that up, but it just seems like, I wonder if those two are connected. And then, I don't know. I think Mary, I don't think Mary goes back to Cody and Robin. I think she's going to start dating. I think Mary is actually the next person to start dating someone. I do. Mary wants to be relevant so badly. Oh my God. Remember when he had Sob and Robin on her deathbed when she got the video? I know. Uh, the separation. Um, can they afford Coyote Pass anymore? Don't they owe money? They do owe money, according to their tax records. And um, there's been a lot of rumors that they're going to sell Coyote Pass, but I have not seen it up for sale. So I, I don't see how any of them are hurting for money. They just had the biggest season of their lives with season 17. They just got this renewal of season 18. I can tell you right now, that show is 100% greenlit for season 19. And it's probably season 20 unless something catastrophic happens. Because they're going to want to follow Christine, her marriage. She's not going to get married, I doubt because they've already wrapped filming for the most part for season 18. It comes out in September. They need all summer to edit it. So Christine's wedding is going to be in season 19. Cody and Robin, and I said this from the start, I was the first person to call it. So you can, you heard it here first, a long time ago. You can go back and listen to my podcast. From the get-go, I told you guys, Cody and Robin are casting new sister wives. He is a polygamist through and through. Robin is used to the polygamy lifestyle as well. And 
they are looking and they already did. They had one failed attempt of a woman that they met, like a South American woman who they met. She was not a polygamist, had never been a part of it. She met the two of them, got the creeps. She was out of there. All right. He's one, they are 100% going to acquire another sister wife. I call it acquire because I don't know what woman would ever go into that shit. But anyway, so I guarantee you, we're going to see them wade the water, wade into the waters of finding a new sister wife in season 18. Christine is going to be getting engaged. There's a lot of tension about the engagement because only a few people in Christine's circle knew because they, they wanted it to be a surprise to be filmed. Um, I think we're going to see Mary a hundred percent date. I don't know if we're going to see Janelle. I don't know what the development is going to be with Janelle. I think we're going to get some tension between David Woolley and Cody. I could see an actual, you know, meeting and confrontation. Wouldn't that be great? I think we all want to see David Woolley defend his woman, give her the life she wants and kind of throw it in Cody's face. Um... People are saying that Robin loves being the head wife and she'll have so much to say about it. See, I agree, but this is the perfect thing for Robin because Robin now is the head wife. Robin can pick women that are going to be submissive to Robin. So I think Robin is all, you know, and from what I read and, and the sources that I have, Robin's the one that wants more sister wives. Like he's ready to be monogamous sister wives. And a lot of people think that's financially motivated. We're going to find that all out. We're going to find that all out. All right. Um, you guys, new episodes of the Sarah Fraser show every single day. If you didn't catch Peter Madrigal from Vanderpump Rules, he actually reviewed on yesterday's podcast. He reviewed um, Vanderpump Reunion Part 1 with myself and other podcaster David Yontif. And he has some thoughts about Lala Kent going after uh, Lisa Vanderpump was Scandaball staged. He's got some hot takes. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. Be sure to subscribe to the Sarah Fraser show everywhere you get your pods, leave a review. Tell me what you love about the show. Bye everybody. Bye everybody. Bye.